Hello guys, so if you're watching this, that means you're watching the replay. And today is day four of um, the Lipsense challenge. Thank you so much for whoever tagging me along and uh, doing this challenge. The challenge is to um, make you use and also make you feel how it changes your whole day when you get ready in the morning or even just by wearing uh, lips and salon so <laughs> that's the aim of the challenge so i appreciate whoever is doing it with me today was supposed to be uh, the ombre lips and challenge i think i pretty much did so many combinations i remember i do i did um blackberry i did with red i did with um, brown i'm sure i did a pink ombre there are so many um what is it like a uh, lip looks that i have already created and today i have picked a new combo i never did this one so the combo i picked for today is um fire with the amber spice so how it works is anytime when you're creating an ambre lip, lip look, it's basically a darker color to outline your lips and a lighter color to go inside. So that's all it is. There is no hard and fast rules that you need to only mix and match these colors. You're just going to use any um, from the shades you have. You're going to use a darker shade just to outline your lips. So here I'm using fire, which is um, one of the recent additions um if you don't know um when they um what is that i think seminar happened in april um april 9th and 10th let me outline and then talk that way it can dry so basically you are going to just line your lips and follow the natural line And if you want, you can little bit overline too. If you feel like your lips are a little smaller, you can overline a little bit um, outside. Don't go all the way first itself. Every time when you go, you're going to go a little bit further. So how is your week so far? So I'm also going to fill in uh, just a little bit on the outer corners alone. Doing an ombre lip look is so easy. Once you do, you'll really be uh, tempted to do more often. Because what it's going to do is It's going to make your lips a little bigger so that way you feel like uh, it gives more volume to that and um, what I was talking I was talking about something yeah <laughs> I remember so what happened was um, anytime they will um, if you don't know uh, lips and always have oh you already finished it's okay <laughs> post yours under uh, yours so you want to be in the video let me add you Are you going to be in life? Hi, madam. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Such a surprise. <laughs> See, I just, it is I just finished it. Which color it is? It is, uh, hold on, I'll tell you. It is Glam Doll, Heart uh. of Gold and Velvet. See, I did, I'm also doing a brown ombre. <laughs> but it yeah. looks really nice. I, I try to, on the velvet to glam dalu, it just blends so well. Yeah. So I thought yeah. I can lighten it up with heart of gold. Yes. Can you see? I don't know. Whether no, you no, can... no. I, I can clearly see the outline here. Like the top part clearly shows. It actually shows. And as it you sh said, you can always, uh, even if it is a quick ombre, you can just do here. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. That's really All right, sweet. you continue now. I just wanted That's to show so you. That's so sweet. Thank you for hopping on. I'll post a picture. See yeah. you. Bye. Yeah. See, such a sweet surprise. I know. Like, once you start using it, 
people really really love lip scents and they can't um i remember suki and i used to have a lot of her um, other brands and when she moved she was like i don't think so i'm i'm using anything else so this is just one layer of fire and i'm going to deepen it a bit so what happens with lip scents is your lips will get um used to lip scents more and more and it stays longer and longer as you do because um even if you are a new customer i always tell them because the application is still different from your traditional lipstick so to get used to it the trick is even if you are just doing one layer even you are going to be home you are not going out doesn't matter at all just do one layer of lip scent seal it with a gloss and carry on do it for a month and then by the time you apply you will find the difference and you can also feel um how much your lips have become healthier in that one month because lip scents doesn't have any um wax or any um um what is it like a harsh ingredients in it the it's just hydrating so that way the more you wear the more it's going to stay longer and longer so that's the cool thing about lip scents and it is gmo free it is made completely in usa it's fda approved and it is um vegan gluten free and the main uh, thing about our glosses are you can wear the gloss on its own or you can wear the gloss to seal the color only lip scents cannot work on its own whereas the gloss can so i'm going to do the final layer just to deepen it one more time so when i'm lining my lips i'm going to scrape it really really well because i don't want my layer to be thick here it is more just like outlining it i have already posted even a youtube video and also um, i have posted a few colors and how you do uh, the ombre lip look under the post um i go for my walk and in the morning so just to keep me occupied what i do is i like to listen to uh any positive positive uh, podcast it can be um general about life it can be about uh, um my job um it can be about uh, how do you call it workout something like that and today uh, one of the podcast i was listening was talking about how um an actor who started his career a little late and he never he's always been a shy kid who never uh, um was comfortable like whether it's performing before everybody or even even to talking um to everyone that's how shy he is but once he started his career in 25 he slowly started to uh, learn dancing or uh, even performing before such a big audience all those kind of stuff so um i think he went to a, a dance um teacher and he was asking like people might have been um what do you say uh, uh i mean dancing from childhood uh, is it wrong that i am starting only now and uh, uh, will i be missing out and then i think the teacher said um it's nothing wrong in uh, learning at 25 uh, you should be happy um that you got a life that you get a chance to uh do it it's like you you will never regret just starting at any point of time so i think i always feel the same way uh, there is no age <laughs> because sometimes when it comes to even lip scents you won't believe how much uh, we restrict ourselves to wear a color um, uh, they'll always feel oh i am old i can't learn anything new like i can't learn makeup um, i think when i started the business i was 
I was 35. So um, I had no clue whether uh, whether to even wear a liquid lipstick or whether to even do my makeup or even to do an eyeliner. In my 35 years, I never wore um, a liquid liner by myself. Like maybe for a performance or even for um, my wedding, somebody might have done on me, but I never did on my own. So uh, I think if you have a mindset um, that you can't learn, that's where the hindrance is. But age is not a hindrance. So that's what I heard today morning and it really made me happy. So uh, I'm going to fill it in with Amber Spice. So continuing what I was talking. Um, in During the uh, seminar year, what they did, uh, they removed five colors from the permanent line and they have added five of the limited editions which were popular and sold out so amber spice is one of the sold out shades now that it got added to the permanent line so that's the color i'm going to fill it in so the trick is now that you have an outline you are just going to first layer you are just going to fill it in wherever you don't have any color You can see it is like outlining with a darker shade and filling it with a, a lighter one. Uh, I have seen even um, golden berry, which is like a very uh, mauveish pink um, with a gold tint tinted. You can do um, like uh, how Suki did, like glam doll with Bella. You can do um, glam doll with velvet. You can do. Um, what else you can do? You can even do charmed, like a purple with golden berry. You can do, like, there is no hard and fast rules. And the way we were talking, if you see, um, let me show you a color. Yes. These days, seriously, I couldn't find the colors I'm making for. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, I found it. Sorry. So even if you are doing fire, you can do a color like this and just fill it in the corners in the middle. That way, you get like quick ombre look instead of doing the lining part, all those kind of stuff. So I think that is also there. Um, if I remember, I think I would have done with Fly Girl with uh, Honey Rose. So that's another thing to do. So my second layer, I'm going to slightly overline and try to fill it. So here you are getting an illusion that you have a darker lining and your lips are well defined. So do you see, slowly they both will combine to give that one color, but you will have the like a three dimension look because your darker outline still see through this lighter color. So that's about it. it is, Nothing fancy, not like rocket science or anything. <laughs> In my local uh, radio, there will be always um, one ad about uh, IT, learning about IT. They will always say, um, you can learn IT in three months course. Like it's not a rocket science. <laughs> Every time when we hear, we'll be, <laughs> we'll be laughing. So that's how it is. But this one is really it is it's not a rocket science it's not hard to learn it just needs practice so i'm going to do the last layer That's it. That's the ombre look for today with fire and amber spice.
somehow anytime when i wear a, a yellow shirt i like to keep my look in brown so yesterday you have seen how i have shown how many glasses we carry um, in brown today similar way i have picked few of them that i can top it up with so the first one is um metallic um nude uh, yesterday i showed metallic rose i think so this is the, it's equivalent so you can see this is metallic nude and i wanted to show three of the matte shades so you can do this one is hazel matte if you want to deepen the color and then praline matte these are matte lip color matte glosses these will act like a lip balm consistency these are thicker so this is cream matte and uh, i was suppose i was thinking maybe i'll do java or i can do valiant vanilla so these two were in my mind to top it on and what else actually i'm i'm still searching for my bella glossy bella glossy will be a really nice one this one is sparkling champagne so that's the one so you have tons of browns to top it with this is toffee toffee and latte is a very good ones um for any everyday colors they are not too brown or too pink and the last one is the capri sign glass from the zodiac sign glasses i need to post an update on um these glasses um i think uh, two or three of them are sold out out of the five or you can even do just the satin matte gloss i mean yeah satin matte gloss the matte gloss consistency is totally different i know it is like um it is like an um, how do you call it um like a creamy consistency hi shobna good morning so here you can see um that's also a possibility if you any time if you don't want the color to pop up you go with the matte gloss so if you want the color to pop you are going to go with a glossy look if you want it to be matte um you can go with it so maybe i will top it with the matte gloss and then show um any one of these you can always go either way uh even if you are going to wear a matte gloss my preference is always wear glossy first then apply matte on top that way you still get the benefit of matte gl i mean glossy gloss to moisturize your lips and then you can go with matte gloss so my trick is always wipe out the extra so that you don't get any white cast do you see it makes the color little subtle maybe we'll go with matte gloss itself for today i never wore matte gloss at all i think the people who move from the popular brand they all want that matte look so that's how it's going to look with the matte gloss and by the time everything got what is it dried up so if you are glossy girl you can always pick any of these brown glosses and you will never be disappointed and that's the ombre lip look and other tip is if you have watched my video where i have used even um a pencil to line your lips you can do that too so i have done it with uh, fire right it will work the same way you can line your lips with this um pencils any of the brown or black brown pencil the tip i always suggest my customer is don't open it all the way because the moment you press it you are going to break it so always keep it as short as possible that way you don't break it even if you break only the small amount goes away so then you can easily line your lips with our uh, eyeliner pencils too so that's all it is and today i'm wearing the glistening plum as my eye shadow color hi girl good morning so that's what it says about like um i think uh, <laughs> baba always tries 
pink ombre lip looks too so once you try uh, ombre lip look you will get used to it and um, it it always gives you a new perspective instead of wearing the same old color see now that you have uh, two colors you create eight layer combinations you create uh, multiple um, mixing combinations but even doing this you get one more combo out of the same colors you have <laughs> yeah see today i did um, fire with uh, amber spice but pretty much you can do with any color like and i topped it with the new satin matte gloss so let me show the older matte gloss i don't know whether i have it it's not available anymore anyway so i cannot order it yeah this is the older matte gloss and this is the newer matte gloss previously it used to be like a liquid consistency this is my last of last i don't have any more so here it will be like this is also a clear gloss but you can see this used to be like more whitish consistency this is more of a creamy consistency which one no wow this is the matte gloss this is the newer matte gloss so they reformulated it and took out the old one so this is the old one and this is the new one the newer one is like um thicker so it's literally like a lip balm so any of the matte glosses will be in that consistency whereas glossy will be glossy but uh, any of the colored matte glosses will be so thick i would always say uh, these will be perfect for kids even to have a slight tint of lip color at the same time it will uh, it will just be moisturizing and it will not so and it will it will be spill proof even if you are having it in your handbag or anything <laughs> yeah bao uh, i think uh, i have ordered uh, the new matte gloss sample i will add it in your order um, mostly it's shipping tomorrow uh, i will add uh, the new matte gloss sample like i mean they they just released it around end of last month for the sample so i have ordered few uh, in my um, in my order for this month so i will add a sample just just remind me to but most probably i will be able to add it so it's a it's a different feel that's all it is like um, compared to glossy you can see the finish it is more subtle um, that's the main difference between glossy versus a matte gloss a glossy always brings out the color even more prominent but if you are a person who wants a subtle look then matte gloss is the way so that's all it is about you all have a wonderful day can't wait to see all um, day four pictures and uh, tomorrow is the last day i think one more pop up challenge will be there um, i will also check but you all have a wonderful day